what is good y'all welcome back to a brand new video today i'm gonna show y'all how to do this cool transition on i like motion it's really simple to do so first what you'll have to do is have your two clips ready on the timeline now what you're gonna do is search for the part that you want the transition to start and you're you'll just put a marker at the part now what you're gonna do is ex click on the export button and click on current frames as png and click on export now save the picture now what you'll have to do is just import the picture in your, inside your timeline once you did that you're gonna click on the plus right there and click on victor drawing now what you're gonna do is create a shape inside uh, the thing you want the transition to go inside of so create a simple shape like this make sure it's good uh, it's good looking because we will zoom in zoom inside this shape and we will see its details so just make sure it's good looking like this if you're not sure if your shape follows the shape of the actual thing you can just put the opacity down to to see and to play around with the shape now what you're gonna do is click on blending and opacity right there scroll down to mask and click on exclude now once you did that you're gonna select both the picture and the shape that you just did and click on this button right there now as you can see the second clip plays behind the shape that we just cut it out so what you, you can do is simply go on move and transform and click on the z axis right there add a keyframe at the begin, big, beginning of the picture and scroll a little further like this and just start scrolling the z axis down like this and i'll just adjust it so the camera movement can go inside the shape as you can see my shape was not perfect but it's just for the example you can do a way better shape than this so yeah just keep on zooming until you don't see the picture no more so you should have something like this now what you're gonna do is delete the rest since we don't see the picture no more so what we're gonna do is click on the picture now and add a new effect and you're gonna search for a motion blur Say my name. now that you have motion blur you can start duplicating the picture and just move the duplicated uh picture a little bit further inside of the timeline like this so you can have a duplicated effect you know and do it over and over again until you have a result that you like like this And yeah that's it it's really easy really simple to do uh really took me two minutes to do so yeah if you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't hesitate to like the video comment the tutorial that you like to see on the channel and follow my instagram and if you're an i like motion user don't hesitate to buy my pack link in the description and yeah see you in another video